is your name? My name is Seth Gabbard, and I am your uncle. What's your job? I am an engineer. How did you prepare for this job? I went to KU and I studied in the electrical engineering school for over four years. Well, it was more like five, but I just needed a little extra time. What are the duties of your job? I design electronics and I design mechanical things. Um, it's a small company, so I tend to do a lot more stuff than an engineer might do at a bigger company where they might do more focused things. What are the tools of your job? Um, for a lot of things, I use a computer. Um, so for mechanical stuff, I use a program here and I can load up designs in here and then print them out on our 3D printer. For um, electronics design, I use a, a program like this that I can design circuits on, and then I use that to design boards uh, like this that get made and then they get sent back and we put parts on them and we make electronics. Does your job provide a good or a service? Well, sometimes both. Um, we can sometimes design circuits for other people um, but a lot of times we design things to sell here that we make and then we sell the goods to other people. What is some other in um, interesting information about your job? Um, a lot of it is not just engineering work. A lot of it is, and the hard part is figuring out what people actually want. They'll tell you one thing, but that's often not really what they want. So, so figuring out how to design things and what needs to be designed is often a lot harder than actually making things. What are you working on right now? I am going to make our 3D printer print something. Um, so I load the model file up into this software and there it's loaded and then I'm going to spin it around and resize it. and then save it to the thing, and then I will go print it out on the printer. What's the most interesting thing you ever worked on? Hmm. I would say we've recently done a thing um, that controls uh, little LEDs attached to tiny optical fiber, and it's used to stimulate neurons in the brain. So uh, they make these special little uh, viruses that go in and they attach uh, s sensitive things to different parts of the brain and then you use the light to turn them on and off. So you can trigger things like hunger or you can, uh, uh, you know, turn on and off something that something else and, and you can manually just sort of control all these different things that go on in the brain. So you can, you can look for diseases and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. This is a box I recently modified for one of our things. Um, and so you can, in this case, I was trying to figure out where the cutouts go in the box. So uh, if I hide the lid, that's the inside of the box. This is the board that we make, the PCB. Uh, these are all the connectors on it. Uh, this is the purple one is a power plug. The pink one is USB. This orange one is a little thing on the side. These two green tubes are represent LEDs. and these things are all sized so that when they cut the box out, the parts all fit through it just right. Um, so you can hide the bottom, and then that just shows the board plus the screws. Put the back on, and then that's so got to heat up into the, them. The print head is up here, so this works because there's this giant spool of plastic on the back, and this part here pulls the plastic through, and it comes out this little tip right here and then it draws it on the plate. So right now it's heating up, heating up the, the thing that melts the plastic up here on the print head. And just take a minute. That's about three quarters of the way done. I didn't build any structure on the legs at all, so Things we'll see how that leg comes out. To make. Uh, I made, tools. Right, so I made this thing, and what it's supposed to do is, uh, it's supposed to use to extend a rod, and this goes inside of it. So 
as it as the motor would spin these 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 wheels like this, then it pushes this through. So I just sort of mocked this up to test whether that idea would work or not. It seems to work okay. There's uh, any number of other problems with that project, but that part works pretty good. 